Now, when Averroes wrote a you know, commentary on Aristotle's books, philosophy, you think, oh, OK, he wrote his Aristotle's book. He wrote maybe explanations of that. No, he wrote three different types of uh, commentaries. The first one was what we call jami, or explanation of the main ideas. The second one was, uh, he called it the, the middle commentary. And uh, it was paraphrasing Aristotle, like saying the same things, writing the same books, but in Ibn Rushd's word, a bit more clear, sort of clarifying, just paraphrasing, not adding anything, just uh, writing it differently. And the third one, and this is the amazing part, he goes line by line in Aristotle's work and explains it line by line. So that's the major part of the work. Um, and naturally, when these works are translated into Europe, Latin languages, what do we get? Everything's cooked, ready. You know, because if they just got Aristotle and translated, nobody would understand it. You're getting the full works, Aristotle and all the commentaries and explanations. Everybody is reading that. So everybody who could read and educate it reads Ibn Rushd. So they discover, rediscover Aristotle in that way and understand them in the way Ibn Rushd explained it. So actually, there was a movement called Averroism. I mean, Ibn Rushd didn't start it, but his, uh, people who read his works and were influenced by his explanations created an intellectual movement. And there's two major figures in the, uh, in the Christian and Jewish world, Thomas Aquinas and uh, Maimonides. Maimonides is also, he has a Muslim name, Ibn Maimun, uh, who's also from Andalus and later goes to Egypt when, you know, uh, when Jews are kicked out of uh, Spain as well. Uh, Ibn uh, Maimonides is extremely important for, is the Imam Ghazali of the Jews. Now he writes this Mishnah uh, Torah, which is a codification of the Talmud, the whole uh, body of uh, Jewish law, which is about 26 volumes or something like that. And also uh, Maimonides comes up with, you know, in Judaism uh, there was no a list of essentials of faith until Maimonides produced 13 articles of Jewish faith. And remarkably, 10 of them are the same as Islam, or very, very close. And the last three is about Moses, you know, Moses being the last prophet, Torah being the finality of God's revelation. I mean, obviously, uh, Islam does not e accept that. They're, so they're the only differences. Uh, so. He, Maimonides is influenced by Ibn Rushd and, and the Averroism and so on. Uh, Thomas Aquinas is a major figure in the Christian, Christian world. He is also the Imam Ghazali of the Christian world, Thomas Aquinas. He was a philosopher, theologian, and, uh, and his writings uh, influenced Western thought. So in a way, uh, Judaism, Christianity, and Western secular thought owes its foundations to Ibn Rushd, you could say. It's a, it's a very uh, big influence. 